Yes, uh, the Yuma Mayor Douglas uh, Nichols was in Tempe today for Biden's visit where he planned to talk to Biden. He also planned to hand deliver him another copy of a letter that he sent to Biden and DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas a week ago telling them that the lack of resources here at the border is an increasing concern, especially when some of the local resources here are being diverted to the Tucson uh, sector border patrol. Now, the U Yuma Border Patrol here has been helping the Tucson sector process migrants due to overcapacity in Tucson. It's what led Mayor Nichols to take a stand against recent policies he says are impacting the Yuma region. Some CBP agents at the port of entry are also helping process migrants. Some agents have been pulled away from their normal duties at the port of entry to help Border Patrol. Now, in this letter, Mayor Nichols states this is a security risk and says it's impacting border wait times in San Luis, which he says will have an effect on the region's workforce, many who cross the border every day. This includes agriculture workers who supply food for the nation. In a social media post, uh, the mayor noted that Biden's visit to Arizona today would not include the border and the impacts from the migrant crisis. Now, I did reach out to the mayor for comment, and I'm still waiting to hear back from him. But here's what the White House press secretary had to say to critics. And look, the president has gone to the border very recently within this year to see for himself what the CBP is doing and how, you know, how it is that they do the work that they very important, the work that they do at the border. But this is a president that has taken this incredibly seriously, right? This immigration system has been broken for decades. We were able to hire 24,000 more CBP agents, which is a record. And look, the work continues. The work continues. Now, recently, I did speak to Mayor Nichols about some of the migrant street releases happening in other parts of the border. And he tells me that his biggest concern is that what they're facing over there might soon become a reality here for Yuma if action is not taken. For now, live from the Yuma border, Alexander Angel.